Tips. This is Lester Verano here. And in today's video, I'd like to do an unbox and review for you of a Filson Mackinac Cruiser. This is a 100% wool garment. It's my very first ever 100% wool garment. It's my first cruiser. And I want to talk to you about it. And I want to show it to you. I never really knew much about wool. Uh, most of my life, I probably could not tell you exactly what it is that I've used to keep myself warm in the winter, but I'm sure that it was a mix of polyester and cotton and probably wool. And I never really kn knew about the qualities of wool. You know, wool is basically boiled down, and that process is what makes, I guess, the fabrics mesh together so closely so that the wind and the rain and cannot penetrate so easily uh, through wool. I never knew that. And uh, wool is also ha known to have a quality of being able to carry uh, a high percentage, percentage of its own weight in moisture in the cloth. So if you're wearing something that's 100% wool and you're caught in the rain, uh, it's gonna be a while before uh, that moisture can get through the fabric and get onto your skin. I wanted to get the best the best thing I could buy for my money. And that's what it's all about. You know, I'm trying to spend my money and invest my money on the best of the best. I want something I'm going to be satisfied and happy with. And I want something that's going to last a lifetime. I don't want to make these purchases again and again and again. Let's just get into it. So I did already have this box opened. It's pretty much, I put the jacket back in there pretty much the way Filson sent it to me. It's not folded as nicely as they can do it, but this is this is what you get in the mail. Okay, this is for the Mackinac Cruiser, and um, its shipping weight was five pounds. It came from Seattle, Washington, and I went with the economy shipping. And, um, you know, if you are going to go ahead and order something like this over the holidays, make sure you schedule a pickup or have signature confirmation on your delivery. Because you all know how the Grinch is out there. And he will steal Christmas off of your porch step if you're not home when your delivery comes. And you're spending some good money here on this. And um, I don't want anybody getting ripped off. So just remember. Just remember. All right. So yeah, let's just open it up here. So you open it up. Where's the Filson 1897. I had this nice... Nice little tag was on the on the coat when I got it. Now I got the extra large. Uh, important thing to know: I'm five foot ten, two hundred and thirty eight pounds. I am very happy that I bought the extra large. I could have I could have bought the large, and I think I would have fit comfortably and fine in the large. But with the extra large, I can add a whole bunch of layers if I want to. The only uh, thing I noticed was that the sleeves were a little long on me. I have kind of short arms, uh, but that problem was remedied really quickly with just, um, the, there's two buttons on the sleeves. I'll show that to you. And you can um, you can cinch those down and um, to the smaller size and you, then you won't have that problem anymore and you'll, the coat feels just fine. And then that was it. And basically you have the parka here. And this was pretty much in the plastic like this. So I'm going to put the camera here, here, down here for a second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to flatten this thing out and we get a good look at it. And I'm going to talk about my experience with it. Okay, right and back. we're back and we've got this thing all flattened out. And we're going to just get a really good look at it. The door. This is the dark navy color. It's a limited edition. Let's just get in on this thing here. All right. Made in the USA. It's always nice to see that. It's got a nice little uh, loop here for hanging. Now, this is the dark navy, uh, but I'm going to tell you, it looks black on the website. and It looks black in person, and that's fine by me because I kind of like black better than blue anyway. And, um, yeah, we're going to take our time here. Let's get a look at the pockets. Pockets are button. And uh, a nice 
a lot of nice space, nice storage space in there. And this is cool here. These up on top are like for, I guess, pencils, right? But then there's like a whole pocket underneath here, okay? So you have a big pocket here. And then you have your little, like, you know, pencil, you know, holder, a little pocket protector or whatever. Okay, that's snap. Um, so I've had this on a couple times in the last few days. And it is an experience unlike any I've ever had before with a winter garment. This overall coat has a nice weight to it. And I like it. And when I'm taking it off, I can feel the weight of it. I can feel it, you know, like f when I'm taking it off and putting it on, I can just like, it's just got a denseness to it. And I really like that. And it feels and it feels like quality and it blows away anything else I have. The buttons. Um, my experience with um, fastening and unfastening the buttons is I would say probably as good as it gets for uh, the uh, buttoning up and unbuttoning experience goes. But yeah, I do feel like when I have this coat on, I can easily button and unbutton it with one hand and I feel like um I feel like the buttons are really sturdy. Well, let's get this thing opened up here. It's pretty plain Jane. There's no nothing fancy about it. It's just a plain good old parka and here's a little inside pocket see it's that nice nice double stitching there it's got to see the button on the outside here i'm not sure what that's for it might just be for show um it might also be let's see if it's the same size yeah that ex that just might be an extra button they have sewn on the pocket right there and um you know you're gonna be getting in your car and driving around and I and I liked the way it felt it didn't feel uncomfortable like when it was when I was sitting down and crunched down in the car it didn't feel uncomfortable um you know it's just those little things that you don't think about that are important um now as far as it is a plain looking parka and it's not too flashy this coat it still looks really good um the the color, this camera is really not doing it any justice, but the color is a really rich, dark color. Best way to explain it is there's a classy look to it, but downright uh, tough and uh, ready for battle at the same time. Now, um, the one thing I'm concerned with, and I guess only time will tell, is is this thing going to be a filth magnet or what? Because, you know, anything that's black, you know is going to take on, you know, the filth and you're going to see, am I going to start to notice it dirty, you know, more, you know, quicker than, um, you know, other colored garments. I'm definitely really happy with it. I don't think I could have done any better. Uh, you know, Filson's got a, a lot of, um, different capes and cruisers. I know they had a double Mackinac cruiser I was looking at. And that was a little bit more money. And uh, I think the best money I could have spent was right here on this Mackinac cruiser, just a regular Mackinac cruiser. Because uh, you know, if I need to if I need this thing to be warmer, I can just layer. You know, or if I buy a double a double Mackinac, you know, I might not have as much versatility as as far as like, you know, the times of the year that I'm going to be able to wear this. I can see myself wearing this um, in any kind of weather Maryland can throw at me. You know, if it got much, much colder, I think the layers would, um, with this combined with other layers of, you know, wool or cotton or whatever, I, I don't think that um, the cold is going to get to me. Of course, we got this nice pocket in the back. You can slide some gloves and a hat in there. I really like that. So supposedly was originally made for, you know, a map. You know, this is an outdoorsman-inspired P-51 
piece of clothing. So, you know, with all the, the pockets and stuff up front, you know, this pocket in the back definitely was designed with the sportsman, outdoorsman in mind. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be using this coat for, one of the things that inspired me to buy it is these front pockets. They're huge. And uh, I don't really like fishing down at the pier in the summertime because there's too many people. But I feel as though if I decide to go fishing when it's uh, colder weather and the water's not frozen, I can fit all my fishing gear in here. And go down down to go down to the pier probably have the whole pier to myself and uh, be able to carry all my fishing gear and be warm honorable mention to what's been getting me through these winters for the probably the last three or four years this is what I've been wearing now this is a size large LL bean um, field coat that I got off of um, eBay. I think I paid like 35 bucks for it. Real cheap. I got two of them. I gave one to my brother. And um, it doesn't, you know, being a size large, I don't have really a lot of room to, to do any layering, but it's the same idea. It's got the buttons and um, it's got some canvas going on here and we got the liner. You know, I've been um, working with this thing for a while. And I can tell you, when I put this thing on, and then I put that thing on, it's night and night and day. So I hope you guys, at the very least, can take from this review a good visual of what it is you're buying. And I hope that you'll take your time in considering where you're going to spend your hard-earned money when it comes to investing in a in a good parka. And I think of all the, the qualities that are combined into this one parka, uh, that it was the best choice that I personally could have made for investing my money in a lifetime garment in this Filson Mackinac Cruiser. Please give my video a like and a subscribe and just thank you all for being here and, uh, Hopefully we'll see you in the next video product review. Thanks. Appreciate you. Bye-bye now.